I actually hate that I can see my cards before it's my turn. I wonder how often I should be three betting this in six max. Guess what? Flop to set. It's a pretty dry board other than the 8-6 type draw, so I'm just going to make a call. I would raise on a more coordinated board, two spades for example. Maybe this guy's going to raise, that'd be amazing. It's a pretty good card, um, unless it scares them off of a hand, but someone's going to have a not always, but they're going to have an ace they floated with, ace-queen, ace-jack, ace-king, ace-five, ace-seven. So pot's 5,600. Got to keep track of the pot. We only have 3x pot. Any bets are really, really small. And I don't really know what that means, and I really don't care. So pot's got, I'm going to make it 3,500. Hey, if he's got aces or queens, we can start another tournament. So if he calls, we're going to have pot size behind or less than pot behind. But we have quads. We're not losing this hand. Look at that first hand I played. Well, I played the Jack Deuce. Well, I don't see any other bet size other than all in. I don't think he's going to call very often unless he has queens or aces. Let's give it a shot. What do you think? We're all in. We have quads. He called. He turned us. We won that. <laughs> We won out at him. <laughs> Welcome to internet poker, everyone. Is this what they warned me about? <laughs> oh my God. Man, that's a highlight. Maybe we should focus on this hand. All right, so we got a standard open from, oh, please. The starting stack, and then we got a three bet. So he's got a 13K stack. I'd be okay, uh, quote unquote, flipping for that. We have so many chips. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it 5,400. See if he wants to get all in. All right, let's see what happens. He has three outs. Man, this is this online poker is so easy. All right, so he did a little bit more than a min raise. We're gonna call, flop a gutter. Really bad gutter because an any nine would make a straight. But if he checks back, we could turn a heart. Let's do like a three of hearts. He's probably not gonna check, but he actually should check this board. Okay. I wish I had a pair because I could bluff if I had at least a pair as backup equity, but this would be a great board to bluff on. But I have no backup. A seven would put up straight on the board. I could always river a four. <laughs> and I will call off this guy bets. It's just, yeah. I can't even call for cards when I'm playing online. It's just too easy. I guess as we're getting closer to this rebuy period, people might play a little bit crazier. That's something we need to be aware of. People that don't have a double stack or someone incentivized to not sit on their stack. Let's just say you have a starting stack. All right, so this guy three bet us in a spot where we're not supposed to have a very strong range, but we're actually stronger than it looks. So we're gonna make it. And we will be calling off if once we put this much money in. Any folks. It's a play you guys need to look at if you're not comfortable doing that. It's just a reality that we're supposed to be light. He's supposed to three bet us. And if we're actually not so light, we can't just call all the time. Okay, pocket jacks, we got an undergun min raise to 18 and a flat. It's a good 
place to three bets. Definitely with this guy. So let's just act like it's 2006, eight. I would make it like 10,000 normally. You know, like a live game. That puts him halfway in, him a fifth of the way in. Let's just make a big, doesn't really matter, right? We're just trying to get this guy all in who has 20,000. We want everybody else just to fold. Play heads up for his stack. Yep, that's what we wanted. He flops the king. All right, pocket tens. So we're definitely going to be not folding against this guy and I'll probably will shove to make sure I isolate. I mean, it'd be crazy for this guy to call 22,000. But I don't think I could call and get away. Let's just say if we're worried that Papa Bear could have aces. There's some scenarios where you would call and if he shoved, you would fold. But in this scenario, if I called to 22 and he shoved, I would have to call anyway, so. There we go, it's a good spot. Wow. <laughs> what a run out. Decent hand here in the big blind. Goodness. If he does bet, I'm going to raise. Because now if he has any ace, he has a straight. And he bet the same amount as he bet on the flops. Probably doesn't have a very good hand anyway. But we're going to, we got to take it. We got to have a chance to get some money in here. And if we just keep check all, check all, that doesn't give us that chance. So we're going to hope he just calls up with an ace for a straight. Or else he's just going to fold. Alrighty. We have the birds, as Jason Somerville would say. And the hand starts with a limp. So instead of the last tournament was six hand, and this is an eight max tournament. Pretty sure it's eight max. One... And we got a raise. <laughs> big Texas, too. What's up, Big Tex? Are you from Houston? All right, it's a pretty good flop. <laughs> Can be an interesting spot to check raise, but I'm just going to go keep betting. Hope he has ace queen. If he's got queens, he's just gonna win it all. I bet 4,600, I'll have 15. I could get that in on the river. I mean, there's no scenario where I'm not trying to get it in, right? Unless the river's a queen. Scoop. We've been talking about this hand recently, mostly out of position though. 
I definitely think I can three bet in position because I would call if they four bet and I don't mind when they call. But I've been talking recently about I don't like the three bets out of position with this hand when you're almost closing the action when it's actually a pretty good hand. And you open the chance to get blown. This guy just leads out. It's a weird range to be leading. So either he has a set and he's just like so worried about the flush coming in and we're drawing dead, or he has a flush draw and he just like doesn't know how else to play it. Or he just has a queen. I'm a pretty good queen though. I mean, you can't have queen. It just seems, folding seems so weak in this spot. If he bets three streets with two players calling him, I guess I'm gonna have to believe him. He had an opportunity to shove and he didn't, right? So there was 11, 12 out there. And he didn't shove 14. I said I was going to believe him, and now I don't. Uh, he might have a set. If not, it's hard to have two pair, but I'll find out. Three deuce. We had a chance to beat him. So that makes a lot of sense. Bottom two with, and the set would play the same way. I just think that our hand's too strong. If we had a worse queen where we knew we could get beat by king queen, I think we do fold. All right. I will be going with this hand. And then we will rebuy if we don't win. That was an interesting card. That was a pretty good spot. I mean, a bad spot pre-flop, but once the flop came out, I actually didn't notice that guy raised. It's a pretty crappy hand, but if it folds to me, you don't have options. And I don't care to tank. I'm not worried about min caching. Oh my god. It's so stupid. Yeah, I definitely don't min-raise in cash. You just don't have to protect your stack the way you do in a tournament. Because, I mean, you should be able to just add on constantly, right? I'm really hoping nobody 3-bets this guy because I want to call. And I just want to call. Only because he is earlier position. He has two pretty big stacks that were to his left. He might be a little bit more straightforward than the other players. He's raising into a big blind that's pretty deep as well. But don't always feel like I have to three bet. It's a pretty small bet, right? But we'll just call. Somebody's going to check this. And he bets so fast and so small, like he didn't really evaluate the flop. Well, that's weird. Two to one. Do I make $100 or more? Basically, betting pot, though. 
basically we're gonna have to get a lot of money on the river. I think I'm gonna peel. That's so small. Wait, does that mean he flopped a set though? Well, I'm not really worried about it. I'm not gonna call down with an ace. And if I do hit and he flopped a set, then I'll probably get paid. This is an interesting spot. This might be completely wrong to call that. I'm not used to guys betting pot on the turn. That's something I do. I'm not used to seeing it against me. Because he bet 51 into so yeah, I had a set. So I did nail his hand correctly. So most recently when I went to Choctaw, I played the main because I didn't like the re-entry turnout. And I don't know if I'm gonna be playing any re-entries. And the re-entries are 400. You can, like you're saying, you can easily uh, 100 extra buy-in, but I don't wanna to go to a tournament. Buy-in for $400. And the most I can win is, you know, 30, 40,000. I mean, it's a lot of money, but it's just not that exciting. It's a pretty clean flop for Ace King. I'm just betting $9. So I started looking at the mains. I always avoided the mains, and it's only because the value was so good in these re-entries. And I was very big on maintaining a bankroll and not just blowing through the money because I had done that once before. It's kind of a bad river just because... Actually, it's not that bad. I'd say it's bad just because he's going to think I have ace-king a lot. But a queen would definitely be worse. So if he shoves... He could have his ace queen of hearts. But he could also have ace king. So I don't really think I can fold if he goes all in. Oh my god. One outer on the river. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I mean, I did one out of somebody in the tournament earlier. But, wow, that's insane. Yeah, I mean, I kind of see what you're saying about live. The beats are a little bit different just because it seems more natural. What a, what a turn card. What if I just turn this card and he had ace four the whole time and I'm dead? That would be kind of the way that the... All right, we're getting raised, so... I'm not calling, or am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, I I called it. I called it. <laughs> oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs>